Real will be taking for my salary for like two to three years. Because I asked them, they said it is Sharia compliance and it's Islamic. Okay. Any more questions? No, that's my question. I will answer you, inshallah. Brother Yusuf is asking about acquiring a loan from NCB, National Commercial Bank, or Al Ahli Bank, as known. And he's saying that it is Sharia compliant. And, uh, they told him that this is Islamic. And he's asking, is this truly Islamic? Well, each one claims to be Islamic. So you cannot take what they say for its face value until you scrutinize the process that they are doing. First of all, Islamic banks do not lend money because Islamically, when you borrow money, you have to give the money as it is. Any increase would mean that this is interest or in Islamic terminology, this is riba, usury, and it's totally prohibited. It's one of the seven major sins in Islam. So how would the Islamic banks try to divert and avoid falling in such a major sin? Uh -huh. They do not lend you money. So you don't get 50,000 riyals and you pay 2,000 uh, uh, per month. They don't do this to you because this is clear riba with interest. What they do is an actual halal transaction. And that is, they sell you something. So, for example, if this pen costs in the market 10 riyals, it's mine. I own it. If I sell it to Tom for 10 and for Dick for 20 and for Harry for nothing, no one can complain out of the three because it's my pen. I can sell it in any price I want. This is my property. Therefore, what they actually do, the transaction, the halal transaction, it should be as follows. You come and buy this pen from me and this transaction called tawarruq. So I'll sell it to you, though the market price is 10 riyals, because you are unable to pay it cash. I'm selling, I'm not lending you. So I'll sell it to you for 15 riyals. You agree. We sign a contract. We put the terms. We say that you have to pay 2,000 or whatever a month. The price is fixed, fixed at 15. There's no way, even if you go to prison or uh, hospitalized, I cannot as a bank say, oh, you skipped two, three months. We have to increase it from 15 into 16. No, the price is totally fixed at 15. This transaction is halal. So what is the catch here? Uh -huh. The catch is that not all so-called Islamic banks deal in an Islamic way. They have a Sharia board. Some of them have a Sharia board in a five-star hotel, and they display to them, listen, we want to sell this, we want to buy this, this is the transaction we want to do. And the scholars look at it as in black and white, and say, yeah, this is okay, no, this is not okay, you have to change this. Halas, okay, signed, stamped, and delivered. Now, the bank that is not truly Islamic would take this fatwa and hang it on the doors. But the transactions are not in accordance to what is in the fatwa, in the sense. If you go to a so-called Islamic bank that is not dealing Islamically correct, you say, I'd like $100,000 uh, worth of cash. They say, oh, this is un-Islamic. So what to do is it, we will sell you something, okay? And then you take that something and sell it elsewhere or to make life easier for you, we will sell it for you. So I came to get cash. So I said, well, this is okay. So what, I, what, what, what do I have to do? So, okay, listen, this is a contract whereby we will sell you 10, uh, uh, um, 1,500 tons of iron or of copper or a X number of air conditioners or wheat or rice or whatever. So sign here that you will 
buy it for 120,000 from us. You have to pay us 120. So I sign. Then they bring me another contract and say, okay, this contract, you authorize us to sell that X amount of money to any buyer who comes in, providing that it is within the range of 100,000. So when I sign, and in five minutes time, the 100,000 is in my bank account. Wow, that was quick. This is an invalid transaction. Why? Because I did not see the product myself. I did not acquire the product and take it into my possession. Thirdly, they sold it before me taking it into my possession and without me checking if the, it exists or not. And there are reports that some of the, those dubious Islamic, uh, uh, so-called Islamic transaction uh, banks or financial institutions do not have the product. And this is why you get the money in like five minutes or 10 minutes. This is impossible. If you have like 1,500 tons of rice in a location, as they claim in your warehouse, first of all, you have to go and check it. You went to their warehouse and you found it. Second of all, do not authorize them to sell it because this is not permissible. Take it and put it in your trucks and take it to anywhere else, even if they advise you, no problem. But you are the one who is actually uh, obliged to take it and possess it, then sell it to, with any price you wish. This is not happening. So the actual 1,500 tons of rice in that particular plot is being sold and bought from like 30 or 50 branches in the country. And they said, yeah, yeah, we have 1,500 tons of rice. And that branch in Dammam says the same, and that in Mecca says the same, and that in Qasim says the same, on the same pile of rice. So they sell it and buy it only on paper. And this is totally prohibited. This is riba. No doubt in that. Therefore, my friend Yusuf, I would uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, suggest that you look into their process. Do they have the commodity that they want to sell to you before any commitment from your side? If yes, did you see it? If yes, once you sign it, will you be able to take it yourself personally and dispose of it or sell it elsewhere with a lower price? If yes, then the transaction is halal.